Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another pregnancy video. So before this video, um, I just want to explain something. So basically, the last video I did, my last pregnancy video, um, I said I was five weeks pregnant. Well, actually I was wrong and I was actually uh, four weeks pregnant. So everything that I said in that video was accurate. Um, the, you know, the little picture that I put in there, um, from the app that was accurate to four weeks, my symptoms and the development of the baby, that was all accurate. So everything I said in the video was right. Apart from, I kept saying week five and I was actually on week four and the thumbnail says week five when I was actually on week four. Um, so apologies for that. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do a, a tiny, like quick summary of the week five, my actual week five, and then I'll get us up to date and I'll talk about the week six that I've just completed. So today's Sunday, my week starts on a Monday. So yeah, I'm just finishing my week six. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so starting with week five, we'll talk about my symptoms first. So my symptoms in week five weren't too different from week four. Um, I felt a tiny bit more tired, um about the same amount of nausea not too bad um I, ha I didn't throw up or anything um and yeah that was pretty much it to be honest like just feeling a bit off you know just feeling a bit icky but nothing too noticeable so let's go now i'm just going to read some screenshots from my app at five weeks the embryo looks like a c-shaped tadpole because even though the baby is tiny, the first blood vessels are already forming to create the circulatory system. Heart tubes develop to form a two-chamber heart. And by the end of the week, the baby's heart will begin to beat. The central nervous system begins to develop. Segments of the brain and spinal cord form. The basic structures of respiratory and digestive systems begin to develop this week with the trachea, lungs, liver and pancreas. And dimples start to form in the place where baby's ears will develop. So that is everything that's happening with baby on week five and it also the size of a sesame seed on week five. So that's really sweet. It's actually starting to look, you know, kind of in between a tadpole and a baby at this point. Like um, it still doesn't look human at all, but a lot more of an actual kind of baby than it did on week four when it pretty much was nothing um well it was something but you know what i mean it didn't look like much so yeah so that's just a quick summary of week five apologies for that confusion so now let's go into week six so the week i've just completed and how that's been going so my symptoms for this week definitely amped up a bit definitely been feeling a lot more tired definitely a lot more nauseous i still haven't thrown up yet Last week, uh, not last week, last, yesterday, um, I very nearly did, but I didn't. I ran to the bathroom, I thought I was going to, but uh, thankfully I didn't. But yeah, my nausea has definitely amped up a bit. Um, feeling a, a slightly bloated, but I mean, the baby's still so very small that my belly hasn't really changed or anything yet. Um, so yeah, basically the same kind of, um, symptoms that I've been having, but just amped up slightly. I haven't started having any cravings yet or anything like that. So yeah. So now let's go into, um, what's happening with baby this week, the development. So at week six, you can hear your baby's heartbeat in the ultrasound and baby's vital organs and systems are formed. So uh, dark spots appear in the upper part of the face, that will soon be eyes. The dimples on the sides of the head will turn into ears. The spinal cord, spine, muscles and skin are formed and arms begin to form, developing sooner than the legs. The central nervous system forms connections with the muscles, allowing the baby to begin moving. The baby's brain is also actively developing and the head increases quickly in size. The gastrointestinal tract is also developing, including the pharynx, esophagus and stomach. The liver and pancreas also develop. So everything is forming this week, pretty much. And at this stage, the trachea begins to form and the first part of the rest of respiratory system and the kidneys and the genital glands. And my placenta is also developing very quick um, this week as well. So strengthening, you know, for the for the pregnancy. 
so that's very exciting so pretty much from week five to week six your your baby is becoming a lot more complex all of its organs are uh, have formed or are really starting to form um and yeah and it's looking very much more like an actual small little baby so yeah guys that is it i'll show you a quick little belly shot as i said you can't really see anything but for the purpose of the video and for looking back on it i will just show you quickly so the baby is still extremely low down here at the moment and then like that and bear in mind it is the end of the day so i'll probably be slightly bloated around here so this is all food basically so it's just down here so yes guys there we go that was the quick summary of my actual week five and my week six that i've just finished so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting and if you are pregnant as well we can enjoy this magical journey together and yeah if you're not into kind of pregnancy videos i'm also going to be doing you know videos with my two-year-old daughter well she's almost two um kind of toy videos montessori inspired videos and also i will be doing some food videos some vegan food because um i recently turned vegan a few months ago so if you're interested in any of that please consider subscribing or liking um things like that and also if you have any suggestions of any videos please do let them let me know and put them down in the comments below so thank you very much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye